Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Evergreen Arts and Crafts. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how can you make this Muslim prayer cap. This cap is really, really easy to make. It's just that it looks like it's uh, hard to make, but it's not it's super easy to make. All you have to take is three ply yarn, two millimeter crochet hook, or if you wanted to make a smaller version, you can go ahead and shift your crochet hook to one millimeter or 1.5 millimeter okay here you can see the side design pattern it looks so amazing and it's super easy to make i have made this alert uh, adult uh, head size so it's quite big so if you wanted to make a smaller version, uh, go ahead and use 1.5 or 1 millimeter crochet hook, but of course three ply yarn. Uh, and uh, if you wanted to make adult size, I would recommend you to use 2.5, 2 millimeter, sorry, not 2.5, 2 millimeter crochet hook. Here you can see this, that I have made this gap with 2 millimeter crochet hook. And for the demonstration in this video, I'm going to use a three millimeter crochet hook. It's just because um, I'm not a feeling easy to make uh, with such a small hook right now because I have to teach. Uh, I have to make sure that you can see stitches properly. So I'm going to make uh, with the three millimeter crochet hook. And if you use a three millimeter crochet hook, it will become huge because the stitches will increase in this and if you make with two millimeter it will be a normal adult size okay so now let me measure the top part and show you what the top part is what size we have it's almost like seven inches or 7.5 inches from the top and from the side part with part came to your ear side is three inches and if I measure like whole length of this it's going to be six inches or if you wanted to add more simple basic rounds you can go ahead and more rounds to it so now let's get started with this project okay so before I start don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the like button if you like this video and now we are going to work with our muslim prayer cap okay so here you can see i have take my three ply yarn and i'm using a three uh, millimeter crochet hook just for the demonstration you don't have to use three millimeter you are going to use a two millimeter for adult size and one to 1.5 millimeter for almost like a teenage boy okay so now if you don't know any of the basic crochet stitches please learn those first then it will be easy for you to understand i'm starting with a magic ring after me uh, make magic ring i'm going to chain two is just to pick a stitch up chain two will not count as anything okay so chain two and into this magic ring you have to do 16 double crochets so work 16 double crochets inside of this magic ring i'm going to complete this uh, 16 double crochets and then we will start working with round two okay all right so here i am done with my round one so we are going to skip uh first two uh, chains and work one slip stitch on very first double crochet not on chain two okay so round two is going to be chain two again which is just to pick a stitch up chain two will count as nothing at all in entire work so now into each uh double crochet we are going to do increase so in each double crochet we are going to work two double crochet for this round so 16 into 16 is going to be uh, 16 plus 16 is going to be 32 on this round so work two double crochets in each stitch all the way around and this is round two 
and then we are going to start round three i'm going to finish this round and meet you guys just in a moment okay all right so i'm done with my round two and i'm going to do slip stitch on your very first double crochet skip chain two because that was just to pick a stitch up and then do a slip stitch on your first double crochet top of your first double crochet round three is going to be chain one and work a one single crochet into the same space okay and now we are going to chain five so now we are going to chain five one two three four and five and now we are going to skip the center three stitches so this is the stitch where we made this single crochet after that one we are going to cut one two three and into the fourth one we are going to do single crochet so we are skipping three stitches in the center chain five again one two three four and five and skip uh, three stitches into the center one two and three and into the fourth one we are going to do single crochet so this is how we are going to complete this round all the way around you have to make chain five skip three stitches and work one single crochet into the fourth one okay i'm going to complete this and meet you guys in a moment let me show you one more two three four and five oops and five and now we are going to skip this is the one we made and then after one two three and into the fourth one we're going to do a single crochet so you have to do all the way around just like that and i'm going to meet you guys just in a moment okay so now i'm at the end and at the end you do one two three four and five chains and then in the start where we did our uh, start with the single crochet and the top of the single crochet we will do one slip stitch like that and you should have eight uh, chain uh, five spaces so I'm going to give a slip stitch to the very first single crochet here and I think I'm going to switch my yarn because this yarn is really uh, annoying right <laughs> okay so one two three four five six seven and eight spaces you should have after this and now we will start the next round so into this chain five space i'm going to do a slip stitch because now we are going to work into these spaces and now we're going to do is chain two and this chain two will not count as anything now into this chain space we will do six double crochets one two three four five and six after six double crochets we are going to chain one and now we are going to do six double crochets into the next chain space so we are going to do six double crochets into the next chain space and this is what you have to do in this uh, all the way around working six double crochets into the chain space and between every six uh, double crochets you have to make one chain so after completing the six double crochets you are going to do is chain one okay before you jump to the next space don't forget to chain one and this is what you have to do all the way around so i'm going to complete this and then i'm going to teach you what you have to do in your next round so complete this all the way around working six double crochets in each space and in between don't forget to do chain one okay so i'm going to complete and meet you guys just in a moment i don't know i'm going to skip i'm going to change switch my yarn as well okay so i'm back and i have changed 
my yarn so now as you can see I have did a single uh, sorry six double crochets into this chain space then chain one all the way around and at the end when you finish your six double crochets before joining you have to chain one and onto your very first double crochet not in your chain two on your very first double crochet insert your hook in and do a slip stitch this is how you are going to complete the round and now we are going to start to give it a leaf shape from the top and to do that we are going to start the round with chain two which is not count as anything this is just to pick a stitch up so chain two and into the same space you have to do two double crochets one and two into the next four double crochets you are going to do one double crochet in each so work one in each two three and four and now into the next into the last one of this group we are going to do two double crochets we do two in the first one and two in the last one and in between now we are going to do to start the next one this is how the leaf shape will form okay so now uh, when you start with the next one next uh, um, group of stitches chain one in between and then into your very first stitch do two double crochets one and two and work one double crochet in each of the next four and then in the last one again we are going to do two so two three okay now I have reached to the last one and in the into the last one you have to do two double crochets so this is how you have to complete this round all the way around and then chain one and jump to the next set of six so into the starting one work two double crochet in into the center four work one and into the last one work two i'm going to complete this round and then we will do the next round okay so here i am done with my round and when you reach to the end you are going to do is when you finish your work do chain one before joining and into your very first double crochet do a slip stitch and this is how your round is going to complete and now we will start the next round which is chain two this will not count as anything and again into your very first stitch work two double crochets one and two and into the center stitches you have to work one in each okay so work one double crochet in each till you reach to your last stitch two three four five six and now you have to do two double crochets one and two and now we have to do is chain one and as you can see it's getting bigger okay and this is what you have to do all the way around working two into the very first stitch and one into the next set six and then two into the last one this is how it will get bigger into a leaf shape okay first we will going to increase and then we will do the decrease so this is how you I have complete this round when you reach to your end just don't forget to do um, chain one before joining to the slip stitch because we did chain one in each between each set so you have to do chain one before you do joining to your very first stitch so do a slip stitch okay now we are starting round seven so chain two which will count as nothing and do two double crochets into your very first stitch a one double crochet in center eight stitches 
so working one double crochet into these eight stitches one two three four five six seven and eight and into the last one again you have to do the same thing work two double crochets into the last one of this group so work one and two into the same space and now we have to do is chain one and into the next one again work two double crochets into your very first double crochet one double crochet in each of the next eight and then two double crochets into your last stitch so this is how you have to complete round seven okay all the way around i'm going to complete this and then we will start round eight so i'm going to meet you guys just in a moment okay so i'm done with round seven and when you reach to the end don't forget to chain one so chain one and then you are going to do a slip stitch to your very first double crochets okay so now we have all these uh, eight spaces one two three four five six seven eight and in each of these spaces you should have 12 double crochets okay these should be 12 double crochets and we have total eight uh, sections now I'm starting round eight so I'm going to work chain two and into each stitch you have to work one double crochet in this round we are not going to increase any stitches so work just one double crochet in each stitch so here I am working one double crochet in each stitch here and in this round you should have the total of 12 double crochet in each of these uh, group of stitches okay so i'm going to complete my these 12 stitches i'm going a little bit faster right now it's just because i need to complete those 12 stitches after completing the 12 stitches uh we are going to do is just chain one and two and then we are going to work one double crochet around so before this round we will doing chain one and now we are going to do chain two between these groups so work one double crochet in this group as well you should have total 12 in each group of stitches so I'm going to complete this all the way around and in between these groups we have to do chain two this time I'm going to complete this and then we will start working with round nine okay so yeah okay so now at the end uh, we will doing one chain and now as because the pattern has changed so we will do chain one and two after working two chains work one single slip stitch sorry on your first double crochet so this is how your work going still looks like round nine is going to be exactly same as round eight no increases this time but there are going to be a little bit changes to the chain space work one double crochet in each stitch all the way around like that and in we don't have to increase or decrease so this is going to be 12 in each group of stitches okay so i'm going to complete my 12 double crochets here uh so that fr uh, the first chain to count as nothing on the entire video this is just to bring the stitch up so now i'm done with my 12 stitches and now we will do a little bit change here into this chain part which is going to be a chain two so one and two and yarn over and do one double crochet into this chain space and then again chain two one two and then you will work one double crochet to this group of stitches 
and when you reach to your next chain space you have to follow exactly the same thing chain two one double crochet into the chain space and then chain two and then you will start your next set uh, group of stitches like that okay so I'm going to complete this round exactly the way this is and then you have to work chain two one double crochet into the chain space and chain two and then you will start your next group of stitches this is how your work's going to look like till now okay and at the end when you reach to your end part of your cap let me adjust the camera a little bit and focus 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 yes 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 now when you reach to the end you are going to do is chain two one two work one double crochet into this chain space right here then you will chain two again and then you will do one slip stitch to your first double crochet and this is how you have to complete your round now we will start with round 10 to start the round 10 you have to chain two and now we have to decrease the first two and the last two stitches of this group of stitch because now we have to uh, bring this part to a leaf um, um, shape so to do that you are going to do chain two which is count as nothing yarn over into your very first stitch do bring the yarn yarn over pull through two yarn over into your next stitch pull the yarn through yarn over pull through two stitches and pull through three loops sorry not stitches <laughs> and then you have to work one double crochet in between your stitches which is going to be i guess eight it was 12 we decreased first two and the last two so there must be 10 or 8 I don't know I just forgot that so work two <clears throat> I don't know why it happens it just okay the focus is fine two Three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, and then uh, into your last two, you have to make these two decrease. Yarn over into your first stitch, pull the yarn through yarn over and yarn over pull through two loops yarn over into the next stitch yarn over pull through the stitch yarn over pull through two stitches two loops yarn over and pull through all three loops and now we have decreased the first and the last stitch and now when you decrease your first and the last stitch you're going to chain two and into this um, stitch right here insert your hook in and then in this we have to work one two and three double crochets all into this top of your this double crochet because now we are increase this part chain two and then jump to your next set next group of stitches and then again decrease your very first two stitches which is first stitch then yarn over into the next stitch pull through yarn over pull through and then you have to pull through all the stitches now work one double crochet in between these stitches work one in each and you should have eight in between and then we will do the decrease to the last stitch again and this is how you have to complete this round all the way around you have to first we will increasing the first and the last stitch and now we are decreasing first stitch and the last stitch simple as that 
now I'm back to my last two stitches so I'm going to do is a decrease yarn over pull through two loops yarn over into the next stitch yarn over pull through first two loops yarn over and pull through all the loops and now chain two and into your top of your next double crochet what you are going to do is make three double crochets one two and three and then you have to do is chain two and again you have to follow the same pattern which is going to be first two decreases oh sorry first two decrease last decrease and eight in between okay so i'm done with my round and now we are going to start the next round and before doing that uh, at the end chain two and work three double crochets into your this double crochet chain two and then you're going to join with the slip stitch to your very first double crochet like that and this is how the pattern is changing now and now we are going to do is um, work again the decrease part this is round number 11 working decrease again chain 2 which will count as nothing and we are going to decrease the first stitch one and then into the next stitch so we are making two stitches one like that and then work one double crochet in between each of the next six stitches two three four five and six and now at the end you have to decrease the last two so yarn over and pull through two yarn over into the next stitch and then yarn over pull through and pull through all three loops together now we are increasing this part so chain two and into the first we have three now into the first work one two double crochets one and two into the next and one and two into the next so we are increasing these three like that working two in each chain two and again we are into the decrease part so decrease first and the second stitch and this is how you have to as you can see it's forming like a leaf shape kind of here we are actually decreasing the center one okay now at the end I have did the three uh, sorry two double crochet in each here as you can see then I did a chain two and join with the very first double crochet and now we have to do again the same one two chain which will count as nothing and decrease your first one and your second stitch like that and then work one double crochet in between and this time you should have four stitches in between your decreases four like that and then you have to decrease your next two and this is how you have to do this round as well so decrease your first and your second stitch now you have to do is chain two okay so chain two and when you reach to this part here now we have to do is work two double crochet into the very first double crochet like we did here now we have to follow the same pattern we have to do two double crochets into your first stitch one double crochet in each of the next I guess four one two three four yes four and into the last stitch you have to increase again this is the exactly the same pattern we start our um, the part we will be decreasing now okay first we increase that one and now we are increasing that one and decreasing the next one so we will 
increase this part here work two into the first decrease this increase this part all the way around this is have to this is what you have to do okay I hope I have clear about that we are increasing this part here and decreasing the other part which we increased before so now as you can see the cap is this is how the caps looks like we are starting with round 13 this time and again we have to do the same pattern chain 2 which will count as nothing now we are going to in decrease first two and the last two so work decrease into your first two like that then work one double crochet in next one and two and then you have to decrease your next two stitches so decrease your next two one and two this is how your pattern will look like chain two and now we have to do again the same thing work two double crochets increase into your first stitch one and two work one double crochet in between one two three four five six and then into your last stitch you have to increase again work two double crochets chain two And then you have to do again the same thing you have to decrease first and the last two stitches and work one in between four so decrease uh, two double crochet not four sorry so this is how you have to decrease first two and then you have to work one double crochet in center and you have to increase this part here you have to increase the first and the last stitch and work one double crochet in the center okay and you have to decrease this part here so I'm going to finish this round and meet you guys in a moment okay so I am done with my round and here you can see that the cap is turning and as you can see I'm making with a three millimeter crochet hook and it's huge so don't forget to make with two millimeter crochet hook because the ideal pattern is going to be with the two and I'm going to shift it later on on my two millimeter crochet hook so starting round 14 chain two work decrease into your first stitch and then you have to work a decrease into your next stitch chain two one two and we have to again increase this pattern so work two double crochet into the very first stitch one and two and one double crochet in between one two three four five six seven eight and then when you reach your last one you have to work two one and two and now chain two one and two and we have to do decrease two times twice so one and two you have to decrease and then you have to decrease the next remaining two stitches so this is how you have to complete this round all the way around you have to decrease twice into your uh, the, the this one this part the center one and increase the other part 
Okay, so I am done with round 14 and now we are starting round 15. First, I think I should focus my camera a little bit. So here you can see clearly. Okay, round number 15 I'm working with now. To start around 15, we are going to do is chain 2 again, which will count as nothing. And now we have to decrease the top 2 stitches. So insert your hook in, grab the yarn, and then into... Oops, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. It's not... <laughs> okay. Yarn over into your very first stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over into the next stitch, bring the yarn up, yarn two, yarn over, pull through, all those loops. <laughs> and now you have to do, as you can see, it's coming into a leaf shape, chain two. And now we are back to the increasing group of stitches. This is the part we are increasing. So we are going to increase again, work two double crochets into the very first stitch, two double crochet into the last stitch and into the remaining center um, 10 stitches you have to work one double crochet. So two into your very first stitch and then work one double crochet in next 10 stitches. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now you have to uh, increase after the ten stitches. You have to increase the very first, so sorry, very last stitch as well. Work two into your last stitch chain two and now again we are at the part where you have to decrease it into the first one into the next one and you have to do a decrease so this is what you have to do in this all the way around i'm going to finish this round and then we will start the next round and then we will know what you have to do the next okay so i end to the round 15 here and now at the end I did a chain 2 and at the top of our very first decrease double crochet we will do a slip stitch now we are starting round 16 and we will do a slip stitch into this chain space so insert your hook into the chain space and do a slip stitch and then you have to do is chain 1 and 2 which will count as nothing and into this chain space we are going to work two double crochets one and two and now we are here into this section where which we increases you should have 14 double crochets here okay so we will do one two three and the, the two here will count as five if you count it like that but I'm counting it that way just the increases increase part four five six seven eight nine ten Eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. And now into this next chain space, you have to work two double crochets one and two. So if we count the total stitches from each of this space, you should have eighteen. Chain two, and then you have to do two double crochets into this chain space and work one double crochet into these 14 and this two into this so from this chain space to this chain space you should have 18 stitches in total 18 double crochets and if you work count individually you should have 14 so I have complete with this round
and at the end this is how your work going still looks like so into this chain space you have to work one and two double crochets and then you have to chain two and then you have to join to your very first double crochet and this is the round end of round 16 and now we are going to start with round 17 round number 17 will be the same so chain two work one double crochet in each stitch all the way around and uh, we the part where we did a chain two we will do the chain two no increase no decrease just work one double crochet in each stitch all the way around so I'm completing this part working one double crochet in each stitch till I reach to my chain space and when you reach to your chain space you have to do nothing but just a chain of two so working just like that one double crochet in each stitch don't forget to like this video just give your thumbs up show some love please I really need your support and thank you so much for supporting me so and in this part chain two and then start with your next part here no increases no decreases just work one double crochet on each of your stitch so now I'm going to complete this round 17 all the way around and then we will see what we have to do next in round 18 working chain 2 where you come to the part chain mate okay so my chain around uh, sorry not chain round uh, 17 is complete at the end make a chain 2 and then join with your very first double crochets and this is what your work should look like I know it's huge right now because I have used the larger hook to show you the design and I will switch this to my smaller hook later on and this is what the design will look like and it looks so pretty and it's easy it doesn't it's it's not hard okay so starting with round 18 now okay so for round 18 we have to do chain 2 which will count as nothing into the same space work one double crochet work one double crochet next seven total eight so we did the first one one and two three four five six seven and eight okay we did a eight stitches from the start right here okay and now we have to chain one two and we have to skip two stitches I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so now we chain two and now we have to skip one and two stitches and into the third one start working one double crochet and now we are working into the next design the lower part design one we did a one double crochet here now count again two three four five six seven eight and now we have reached to this chain part here so we will do chain two one and two and start working into this next stitch work ch eight double crochets one two individual two three four five six 
seven, eight, chain two, skip two, one and two, and into the third one, start working one double crochet. So this is what you have to do in this round all the way around. This is how your pattern will change from this side all the way around and meet you guys in a moment. Okay, so as you can see my cap was so big that I am now shifted back to my two millimeter crochet hook which is the other size cap. So now as you can see my almost half of the cap is done. So I'm going to shift my hook back to the uh, I just open up, unravel the previous one and made the new one. And now we are back to the beginning here. And at the end of this round, you have to do before the joining, don't forget to do chain two and then join with the slip stitch to your very first double crochet. Okay, starting with round 19. Now we are going to adjust the camera first now starting this round first we will do chain two which will count as nothing so chain two one and two and now we have to work one double crochet in each of the next six so into the same space where we did we did a two double crochet sorry two chains we are going to make one double crochet into exactly same space so one two three four five and six after doing this six we are going to do is chain two yarn over skip the first two the next two and into the center of your chain space do one double crochet chain two skip the next two stitches one and two one and two and into the next space sorry next stitch work double crochet this is how your pattern will look like the box pattern okay and at this part till you reach to this part work one double crochet that's one two three four five and six and then now at this point chain two and then jump to your next stitch one double crochet in each of the next six and then you have to follow this pattern again in here so work one double crochet then two three four five six chain two skip one two and into the center of your chain space work one double crochet chain two skip the next one two stitch into the third one work one double crochet so this is what you have to do in this round all the way around this is super easy round i really like this round because i think it's really simple so i'm done with my round 18 and i'm back to my ra uh, round i have completed this round okay so now in this round we don't have to increase or decrease anything we just have to follow the same pattern so we are going to start with the chain two which will again i'm saying again and again will not count as anything work one double crochet into the very first stitch right here and work one double crochet into the next five so totally you should have six double crochets here work one double crochet till you reach to this chain two space right here 
Now we have to do chain 2. So we are not going to change anything. We are going to chain 2. And we have to work one double crochet over the top of this double crochet. So yarn over and into this top of this double crochet, work a double crochet, chain 2 again, and work one double crochet till you reach to the next chain space. Work one double crochet till you reach to the other chain space, and when we reach to the other chain space, we are going to do chain two as well. No increases, no decreases, just follow the pattern in this round. So, chain two, and then work one double crochet till you reach back to this part, and this is how your works should look like and you have to complete this all the way around okay so I'm done with this uh, uh, round here and now we will start the next round so now we are starting with round 21 which uh, will be exactly like round 18 two double crochets into the first work one double crochet till you reach to the chain space which is so you should have six here right three and six and now what you have to do is you have to do exactly which we did 18 yarn over into this chain space work one double crochet chain two and into the next chain space work one double crochet so now we are back to the one box again here so back to the one box and into the next six double crochets work one in each till you reach your next chain space so this is super duper easy round as well one double crochet in each of the next six and when you reach to your chain space you have to chain two okay and changing design into this pattern is not too hard as it looks like but it's easy and now I am here into this chain part chain 2 and skip this and into the next here on your very first double crochet while double crochet into the next six then we will do two one double crochet into the first box let me show you how we are going to do and six and now into your very first chain space you have to work one double crochet chain two and one double crochet into the next box next chain space and again start working the same as I have told you so completing this round and then we will meet you in a moment okay so now we have to do the last two rounds of this uh, cap as you can see it's little loose and it can't fall off from your head so the last two rounds are going to give a little, little uh, tightness to your work a little kind of like a, a small band in here you can if you wanted to you can make three rounds or four rounds depending on your choice so chain one and then you have to start working a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around in each stitch means that when you reach to the chain space you have to work one half double crochet into the chain space as well so working one half double crochet all the way around and this is the part which you if you wanted to you can go ahead and make uh, two to three rounds at the end but I am uh, uh, working only one round so into this chain space work one half double crochet one half double crochet all the way around into each of these stitches so no increases no decreases just follow this pattern um, but doing one half double crochet this time into this chain space as well work one half double crochet so this is what you have to do till you reach to your beginning part you have to do all the way around okay 
so here you can see I'm back to the beginning and I'm going to join with the slip stitch I have given the two rounds to my cap if you wanted to you can go ahead and give as many rounds of half double crochet as you want your band uh, wider to be so at the end what I'm going to do, I'm going to give a slip stitch. I'm going to skip the very first stitch and into the next one, I'm going to give a slip stitch. And then I'm going to chain up one, pull the yarn, I'm going to cut my yarn, and then we have to just, uh, uh, just uh, sew those stitches, the threads. So I didn't show you the last round is just because they are super duper easy just one to half double crochet all the way around when you reach to the beginning give a slip stitch and then start your next half double crochet round so you chain one and then you start working on your next round so you can give as many rounds as you wanted to i hope you have enjoyed today's video tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you are um if you don't understand anything into this pattern you can ask me on the comment box down below and i hope i have explained you clearly i know in my some of my videos i do get nervous because english is not my language and it's quite hard for me sometimes to explain things so here is my um, cap dummy and this is how the adult size uh, prayer cap or koofy cap I don't know koofy yes koofy cap will look like I hope you have enjoyed today's video tutorial I really like this cap if you made any of these don't forget to share it on my Facebook page which is evergreen arts and craft the link of my page and my official uh, Facebook account in the description box down below and again I am here you can see it's seven inches from the top and from the side it's from the air part if I it's three inches and the whole uh, of the cap is going to be six inches so don't forget to uh, uh, follow me on Instagram as well just search evergreen arts and craft thank you so much everyone who uh, watch this video so patiently <laughs> thank you so much take care everyone subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon thank you thank you thank you thank you so much everyone who supported me bye love you all take care if you have any requests you can't comment me on the comment box down below or you can inbox me on my facebook or instagram thank you so much everyone take care bye